Thanks for tuning in to our Made in Northern New York special, checking in with Northern New Yorkers all over the world. One of the places hit hardest with the COVID pandemic was Italy. We head there next. Well, all the way from the beautiful country of Italy with us now is Chiara Altieri. Chiara, it's great to see you. Thanks for doing this today. No, thanks for having me. Okay, so I hate to start this on such a dark note, but we have been seeing such horrifying uh, pictures and media coverage of everything going on in Italy. As a resident, how do you feel that the country is recovering and what, what safety precautions are in place there? Uh, it's funny you ask this. Um, when I first came back, due to the visa documentation. I arrived just a mere two weeks before the virus truly hit Italy. And so when I arrived, automatically they were checking for temperatures, uh, face masks, hazmat suits were everywhere, but people were still traveling and they didn't close down completely, un I think until two weeks after I arrived. So the, they kind of had a panic day I don't remember the exact date, but it was a, a Monday in March. And everything was closed for this day. Then they reopened that Tuesday. They opened everything for the rest of the week, only to close down the next week. So it's been kind of an up and down sure, roller coaster. Kind of, uh, kind of odd. Now, uh, where, where, are you, where are you all at now? As of now, we have flattened the curve, thankfully. Uh, I think this happened about a couple weeks ago. As of yesterday, our numbers of new cases have truly, truly declined. So this is definitely positive news and hoping, you know, some point this year we'll back, be back to normal. Now, a little bit of a lighter note here. I know that you're an English teacher there, and a lot of our teachers here have been meeting with their students on Zoom, like we're doing right now, and still doing lesson plans. Have you been able to talk to your students, and how are they doing? Yes. Thankfully, my company is offering lessons online, also through Zoom and Skype, and so I'm able to continue my classes every day. So it's definitely keeping our minds off of the virus and everything that's going on. That's great to hear. And your family here in Watertown just reopened Altieri's uh, market, and we are thankfully able to still get takeout here in, in the States and, and in New York, and we are uh, really grateful that they're open because the food is so delicious. We know that in Italy, obviously, the food is such a huge part of the culture there. How is that all working there? Well, you guys are lucky enough to get the market takeout, but here a lot of the restaurants have closed down recently, so there's not too many that are open for takeout. So everything is just, we're all cooking at home right now. And you personally, how have you been doing? Have you been staying healthy? Have you been quarantining there at your, at your house? Yes, I have not left my house in over two months now. And so I'm really ready to start traveling, especially to come back home to see everybody back there. Uh, have you heard anything from the Italian government on when you might be able to do that? So I guess there's supposed to be another um, release coming out in the next couple of days. But the news that's going around is that they're trying to open Italy back up in increments uh, in the next six to eight months. But as of now, we're all in quarantine until May 3rd, and then they're going to open up some businesses on the 4th. Well, uh, we hope that you get back here as soon as possible as well, and hopefully we can get some Altieri's takeout together and that you're here uh, at home safe and sound. And uh, we can't tell you enough that we're, that we're all thinking of you and all the Northern New Yorkers all over the world and hope that you all make it back here safely. Yes, thinking of all of you too and hoping you all stay safe and healthy. In that interview, we mentioned takeout from local restaurants. For a directory of all local Northern New York businesses, go to our website, informny.com. We'll be right back. Coming up, we head to a time zone 13 hours ahead in Osaka, Japan. 